This presentation explains how to improve clarity of basic visualization skill with a process called modified image streaming, which is several brain exercises based upon the idea of neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to develop new synaptic connections. Dr. Wen Wenger was a pioneer in brain development exercises, and he created a brain exercise called image streaming, which many people have claimed has helped them improve their ability to visualize or see images with more clarity in their mind's eye. I was able to make some progress with conventional image streaming, yet still my progress was somewhat slower than I had hoped. In an effort to improve progress, I modified the exercise by focusing on visualizing letters and words instead of merely random images. This multiplied my progress significantly. Let me describe the original image streaming and then explain how I modified it to further improve my results. With Dr. Wenger's version of this exercise, a person closes their eyes, visualizes random images as clearly as they are able, and then describes into a tape recorder or to some other external focus the images they see in their mind's eye with as much detail as possible, even describing what they hear in their mind's ear as they visualize as well. For additional description of Dr. Wenger's version of this exercise, please visit drwenger.com slash mstream.htm. With modified image streaming, instead of merely visualizing whatever images happen to appear in the mind's eye, I focus on visualizing letters and words, and then describe somewhat audibly the words that I see. When I started the exercise, I focused more on individual letters and then four letters at a time or so. Then reasonably quickly, I was able to visualize entire words, not with the greatest clarity, yet clear enough to recognize them. I would then visualize the next word that would appear in the mind, verbalize it, and then vocally spell out the word, visualizing each letter as clearly as possible. At first, it would take maybe a second or two before I would be able to visualize the next word. At a certain point, the next word would appear in the mind more quickly and I would say the word and then vocally spell it out, focusing on visualizing each letter as clearly as possible as I was saying them. The modified image streaming has helped my visualization substantially, and a certain amount of visualization has become much more automatic. Based upon the idea of neuroplasticity, this exercise is probably building more efficient neural connections within and between the prefrontal cortex where executive function occurs, the visual cortices, which serve a role in visual perception and visual imagery, the left hippocampus, which is a primary storage area for general knowledge, also referred to as semantic memory, and possibly areas of the parietal lobe, which are involved with three-dimensional perception. I can't yet say definitively that all these brain areas are involved with this process until functional MRI studies would be completed that would monitor increases in oxygen utilization in brain areas that are involved in completing a particular task. The scientific literature on visualization and related topics is sufficient to produce reasonable working theories about visualization, in addition to how to potentially improve this general skill. In 2004, researchers at Harvard's Department of Psychology reported the results document that visual imagery and visual perception draw on most of the same neural machinery. However, although the vast majority of activated voxels were activated during both conditions, the spatial overlap was neither complete nor uniform. The overlap was much more pronounced in frontal and parietal regions than in temporal and occipital regions. This finding may indicate that cognitive control processes function comparably in both imagery and perception, whereas at least some sensory processes may be engaged differently by visual imagery and perception. Since visual imagery and visual perception utilize much of the same neural networks, it appears reasonable that exercises that improve visual perception speed would benefit visual imagery as well. There would be some carryover benefit there was a brain exercise website developed by Dr. Michael Merzenich, who was a renowned neuroscientist. BrainHQ.com by Posit Science Corporation has an exercise called Divided Attention, 
which has helped me develop additional speed in processing visual imagery and visual perception. The exercise has helped my visualization considerably, most likely because it is developing improved dendritic connections within and between the prefrontal cortex, motor cortices, parietal lobe, and visual cortices. I have written a document that explains modified image streaming in much more detail, and it explains how published research suggests a neural basis for both image streaming and modified image streaming theoretically. The document is called Improve Basic Visualization Skill with Modified Image Streaming. It is available at my website, tbiandidenticresearch.com. There is a link at the website for the document. The cost for the document is $15. I hope to be able to start a research organization to utilize functional MRI to map the neural basis for eidetic memory in order to potentially better understand this cognitive ability. Once eidetic memory is better understood, it may be possible to create exercises to develop the skill, or at least help a person develop a certain degree of the ability. A link to the website, TBI and eidenticresearch.com is provided below. Thank you for considering purchase of the document to improve basic visualization skill.